So for him, he, he will get more latitude, perhaps, than other leaders may get. Uh, he'll get a chance, to, as we we're talking about, as, as Charlie was describing, uh, opportunities to reshape some of the, the legislation that the United States has passed to help build our domestic industry and our, our semiconductors, which I would say is a very good thing for Europe as well, quite frankly, and we can get into that. But he'll have a chance now to sway that and influence that and uh, leave doors open as well for diplomacy with Putin, maybe with Iran. There are other uh, items out there where he could become a very strong partner to the United States while still charting his own independent well, path. Well, go on, just pick up on the, on the trader, because it is important. I mean, there, there's a lot of green jobs here in Europe and, and also in Canada yeah. and Mexico. And what Mr Macron is worried about is through the incentive of these subsidies, they're all going to move to America and that's going to cost European jobs. Uh, well, if, if I can on this, look, I, I don't think that we're even barely beginning to scratch the surface of the kind of economic potential that green energy and green jobs have. So... The idea that somehow only one part of the world is going to produce them uh, really is, is against logic. Uh, we're going to need this kind of investment industry around the world. And so for the United States, this is clearly a, a domestic industrial policy. We haven't had one for decades. Uh, much of our Midwest is looking for ways to grow again and to return to being a, a powerhouse, uh, an engine of growth for the country. And this is what's going to jumpstart that. Uh, but that means that as well, we can come to the table with the Europeans from the position of having a strong domestic clarity about what our, our policy is and engage on trade issues uh, more even handedly. And, and I think innovation uh, can spring up uh, across the globe. Uh, one thing we'll see as well is that uh, they may want to trade now more with the United States and have opportunities to them with uh, China, who uh, at this moment might be the, the only alternative. Mm. Certainly it won't be in the future.